right now we have our flour in it and our vegetable oil and it's doing exactly what we would like for it to do over here to the left we have our water boiling we have we use distilled water which you, you know again you can use whatever you choose I just choose you just dist use distilled water in my in my root for my stew so what you're going to do is have this boiling so that once your roux is ready you can easily just take it and pour it off into your boiling water and that just helps speed up, speed up the process. Sometimes, you know, you, you'll see some people do it differently, but this is my way of doing it, and it's, it's worked for me for years. So we're just going to let this continue to simmer and wait for it to brown to my choice of color, and we'll come back to this here in a second. Okay, so lovely, we are at a halfway point with our roux. You know, there are some people that are totally fine with their roux being this color, and you're totally okay with deciding on this color. I just like my roux to be a little darker. So we're just going to keep stirring here for just a few more minutes. All right, lovely. So we are definitely almost done with our roux. We're going to we're in our final stage of stirring and making sure it's a nice texture, a nice consistency, and because all those things really matter. Once you pour it off into your water, there's no turning back. Um, if you set just anything wrong at this point, you'll have to start all over. So we want to refrain from having to do that. So, and the key to that is constant stirring. Constant stirring. So if you have to grab some, another set of arms to help you do that, if you're getting tired, then do so. But this is the way to do it and get it done the right way. All right, lovelies, we're at our final part of this brew. And uh, now we're going to just take it. Get that final stir in, nothing to stick into the pan. Turn your fire off. And as you let it sit, you just want to continue to stir so it doesn't clump. Now I'm just going to take it and just going to pour it off into your uh, boiling water. It's going to definitely got a sizzle to it, but it's okay. Again, the best part about making this gravy, this roux, adding these ingredients, 
you are able to do whatever you want. Now you're able to make um, a gumbo, you can make you a chicken stew. Many of you don't even know what that means or what that is, but over time you'll learn um, exactly what that is. Um, but right now we're just gonna let this continue to simmer and we'll talk more about what we can add to it over time. You know, I decided to use a little cabbage that I already had in the house as my side. Um, we're just gonna make our final plate of our shrimp stew. Got our potatoes, nice and freshly cooked. And just enough of the shrimp and sausage to cover the rice. Cabbage. Just a little side to complete your meal. You always want to have a little green, something, something green in the plate. Decided to go with a little cabbage. Alright, and that pretty much sums up our plate. 